Let's marry 3D and outline animations to create this awesome 3D stroke intro. You'll be able to use any logo or object to easily create this effect. And you'll see it's actually very easy to create an awesome looking 3D effect. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video and let's jump in and create an awesome logo animation. All right, as always, you can download the project file for free and you can just use this as a template if you wish. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new composition and import your logo. You can use a PNG logo or you can use the Illustrator version of a logo as well, uh, but it doesn't matter. But once your logo is in your timeline, go to effect, generate and grab the fill effect and make sure that the color is set to white. And then we select our logo, go to layer, pre-compose, you can call it logo placeholder. Move all attributes and click okay. Okay, so to turn this into a stroke logo, all we're gonna do is go to Effect, Generate, and grab Vegas. Set the blend mode to Transparent. Let's go to Segments, increase that all the way to Max, which is about 250. And we'll come here to Color, we'll set it to White. Go to Width, we'll set this to 15. Go to Hardness, set this to Max, which is one. Go to Midpoint Opacity, set that to Max as well. The Midpoint Position to Max. And the End Opacity to Max as well, which is all one. So all we need to do is animate our logo. So to do this, we add a keyframe for Length. We'll hit U to bring up the keyframe and we can bring this keyframe forward in time, maybe to eight seconds. And then we'll set our length down to zero. And to animate it as a stroke, we need to come here to even and set this to bunched. So now we'll have this very slow stroke animation of our logo. You can adjust the last keyframe to affect the speed of the animation. We want this animation to be slow so we can create a cinematic scene. So to make our stroke into a 3D stroke, we need to duplicate our layer multiple times, but we're gonna add in a clever expression to make the duplication super easy. So we'll go ahead and turn our logo placeholder into a 3D layer, and we'll hit P on keyboard for position. We'll Alt click the stopwatch. So I'm gonna go ahead and type out this full expression, but please go ahead and pause the video. So this is the final expression that you need to copy over. This will be in the description so you can copy and paste. So essentially what's gonna happen every time we duplicate this layer, the Z value is going to move by three points. So just feel free to copy paste this uh, so we can quickly duplicate everything. So what we'll do is go to edit duplicate. And now you'll see at the bottom layer, the Z value has moved by three points. And what I'm gonna do is grab this bottom layer, go to effect generate fill. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a quick new adjustment layer and go to effect expression controls and grab a quick color control to this. And then I'm gonna all click the stopwatch for that fill we just added for the color and parent this to the color control that we just added. And I'll come here and set this to like a very light gray color. And this will create depth. And this way you can change the color as we add duplicates on later. And just so you can see how cool this is gonna look in 3D space, we'll quickly go to layer, new camera. Click okay. We'll hit C on keyboard to grab the orbit around cursor tool. And we can just offset this in 3D space really quick so we can see what we're doing. So now we come here to our bottom layer and we'll duplicate this a handful of times. So we'll create up about 27 copies. So now we have a stroke 3D version of our logo here inside of After Effects. And of course, before we move further into our video, if you like saving time while producing awesome work, we have over 18,000 templates for you to use here in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the template packs we have, and don't forget to download your free packs here for Premiere Pro and After Effects. All right, so the hard part is out of the way and we can start stylizing this scene. So the first thing is first, we wanna create ourselves a background. So we'll come here to layer, new, solid. I'll set it to a very light gray color and click okay. And I'll put this underneath everything. And because we have this color control, you can easily change the color of the logo to whatever you want. So we can darken this down if we wish, the size of the logo at least. So one thing we need to do is make sure that this logo stands out from the background. So what we'll do is come here to the second to last layer, which is layer 26 in my case. We'll all click the stopwatch for color and this will remove the expression. And then we'll come here and set this to like a darker gray color and click okay. And then we'll go to effect, blur and sharpen. And we're gonna grab a CC radial fast blur. And then we'll go ahead and copy the fill and the CC radial fast blur, go to the last layer, we'll delete the fill and just paste this in here. And we can change the color of the fill to something else. Maybe like we'll do a very dark blue and this will give it like, you know, a touch of color to the shadow. And you're also welcome to change the center of the CC radial fast blur. That's gonna change the direction of the shadow. But now we have this nice drop shadow effect inside of here, which is gonna make our logo stand out. All right, so now we need to talk about camera angle and building out a full cinematic scene. 
So what we're going to do is grab our camera tools here at the top. You can hit C on your keyboard to cycle through them. What we'll do is we can cycle through C on our keyboard and you'll have this double lined icon. This will allow us to zoom into the scene. And let's make sure we're looking at this at, you know, before two seconds. And you can just cycle through the tools, see what you get and you know, start moving around the camera. And another thing we'll do is we'll grab all of our logo placeholders except for the top one. And we'll parent it to the top logo placeholder. We'll hit R on keyboard for rotation. We'll alt click the stopwatch for Y rotation and we'll type in time asterisk five. And this will rotate our logo to make it look like the camera is actually moving. So feel free to play around the camera until you find the angle that you wish to use. And the last effect I want to apply is a blur effect. So to create this, we'll add an adjustment layer and we'll go to effect uh, blur and sharpen and grab a camera lens blur. We'll set the blur radius up to say 15. And we'll come here and grab the mask tools here at the top, grab the ellipse tool, we'll zoom out. And we'll just draw out a perfect circle kind of like this. And we'll set that mask to subtract. Hit F and keyboard for mask feather and set it way up like maybe 200 to 300. And you know, this will blur out the edges of your scene, making it just a little bit more uh, appealing to look at. All right, so now we're in the home stretch and now we're gonna build out the final scene where we can zoom out on the logo and get different angles. So let's select everything in our timeline, go to layer, pre-compose. We'll call it scene one, click okay. Let's go to our project panel and you'll see scene one pre-composed here. So what we need to do is duplicate it and we'll bring scene two into our timeline like so. And we'll drag the endpoint into two seconds on scene two. And now we can double click scene two and cycle through our camera tools, maybe zoom out of the scene a little bit. And you know, we'll just start to reposition the scene, get a different camera angle here. And the thing we'll do is go back to our logo and go to the transform properties. We'll all click stopwatch for Y rotation and then all click it for Z rotation. So this time we'll be animating the Z value of the logo instead of the Y value. So we'll get a different animation. So simply just go ahead and move the camera around until you find the animation that you want. So as we go back to our main comp, we have two different you know looks at this animation. And to close out the scene, we'll do one more duplicate in our project panel, bring it into our timeline, drag in the endpoints, go into scene three, you know, we'll come here to our camera settings. We'll actually just reset everything this time around because we want to have a straight up angle. Go to our logo layer. Maybe we'll just all click stopwatch for Z rotation because we want to just keep this straight on. And this time around, we'll actually just animate the camera. So right at five seconds, we'll come here, open up transform, add a keyframe for point of interest and position. We'll move forward in time, maybe to 10 seconds. And we can just grab our uh, dolly in and out camera tool and we can just like zoom out of the scene. And this will carry out the final look of the animation. One thing that we should think about doing here is actually duplicating our logo layer here at the top, going to effects controls, deleting the Vegas effects. And you'll see that will fill in the logo and all that. But what we actually want to do is when we hit here on keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe for this, uh, set it down to 0%, move forward in time, and maybe set it up to like 50%. And this will kind of help, you know, just build in the actual fill of the logo by a little bit. And you can go ahead and add titles and make those 3D layers and that will automatically animate into the scene because of the camera effect. So it's all said and done. We can have this really cool animation with our logo here animating with the strokes and we have our final zoom out of the scene, reveal in some titles if you wish to do that. And there you have it. So to close out the video, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro template pack that comes with our Motion Duck extension. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and always be creating.